Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to make beef shawarma at home. I'm a very big fan of this dish. Shawarma is one of the world's most popular street foods. It's very popular in Egypt and all over Middle East. It's practically a meat sandwich when the meat is cooked on a spear on the vertical grill and then the pieces of it shaved off and piled onto the pita bread with some vegetables, pickles, and of course the most popular garlic sauce first we're gonna start with marinating our meat and yes guys we're gonna need 13 different spices for that we're gonna need two teaspoons of cumin powder one teaspoon of cardamom half a teaspoon of cinnamon half a teaspoon of chili flakes half a teaspoon of cloves we're gonna need two teaspoons of paprika one teaspoon of allspice, half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of ginger. We're also gonna need one teaspoon of coriander seeds. We're gonna need two teaspoons of onion powder and two teaspoons of garlic salt. We're also gonna need one teaspoon of black pepper and one teaspoon of white pepper. To add even more flavor to our meat, we're gonna use a zest of one lemon and we're also gonna use a juice of one lemon. And to extract even more juice out of this lemon, it usually helps to roll it on a table surface so it becomes a little bit softer and it would be much easier to squeeze the most juice out of the lemon. You could also use a lime instead of the lemon, it's just a matter of personal preferences. And here's the secret ingredient guys, you're gonna need 300 milliliters of club soda. We're gonna gather all our spices in a bowl so we can combine them and here's a tip for you guys, you can make double of the amount and manufacture the spice mix. Kidding! It's time to marinate our meat and I'm gonna use a large container. We're gonna lay our meat flat in it and I'm using a beef sirloin flap. You guys can use um, a skirt steak or a flank steak for this dish. Uh, we're gonna lay it flat. We're gonna pour a little bit of um, lemon juice on top and then we're gonna put a tablespoon of our spice mix. And now we're just gonna continue layering the meat um, on top of each other some people drizzle it with olive oil or add balsamic vinegar i think the olive oil makes the meat burn when it's cooked and the vinegar pulls the moisture out of the meat and that's when this secret ingredient comes handy which is club soda club soda is very acidic so that's going to tenderize the meat and it's going to be very juicy you could use that trick on the cheaper cuts of meat and we'll, you will see what it does. Then we're going to cover the container and we're going to marinate it for at least three hours. In the meantime, we're going to make our tum or tumiya, which is practically a garlic sauce that can be used as a spread inside the shawarma and also on the side. We're going to need six cloves of garlic, one teaspoon of salt, one egg white, 250 milliliters of oil, it could be sunflower oil or vegetable oil, any oil except olive oil because the taste of olive oil is a little bit too strong for this dish, two teaspoons of lemon juice and one teaspoon of icy water. This sauce is practically made by emulsification method of all the ingredients and turning them into a paste. Therefore, you guys gonna need a very strong blender and I'm gonna use a Nutribullet. And normally this sauce is made by adding slowly the oil to the lemon juice and to the garlic. I don't have a very strong blender except this one and this one actually works the best. But if you have a very strong blender for making smoothies or something like that, you can use that. But the process is going to be slightly different because you're going to have to add your oil slowly. Um, well, here you go, guys. Uh, mine uh, actually worked very well and I got a garlic sauce. So just cover it and refrigerate it until we're ready to use it. 
I'm also gonna marinate the onion in lime juice and I'm gonna use the red onion because I think it's gonna look prettier in the sandwich and the lime juice will take a lot of bitterness from that onion so just um, cut your onion half moon and then just pour some lime juice over it and then just set it aside until we're ready to use it and then there's usually a very simple set of vegetables that are used in assembling shawarma which is usually lettuce some fresh tomatoes some cilantro you can use bell peppers if you like bell peppers and then there's this ingredient which is um, a very popular in assembling shawarma shawarma it's called the pickle turnip or you guys can use just regular pickles and if you don't eat bread then just wrap it in the lettuce leaves but for bread selection, of course, it's pita. It's either whole wheat or white. And then, of course, for cooking our shawarma, I'm going to use that vertical chicken baker by Romertop. It's called Chico. Let's check on our meat and... It looks beautiful guys I'm so excited to start making shawarma so we're gonna cut little pieces and we're gonna make a hole in the center so we can uh, put our pieces of meat on that spear of that chicken baker and if you guys don't have that one um, there's some other ones that's available uh, I think they made out of metal so you can use the same method to make your shawarma at home so just pile it um, like a cone uh, until you reach the very end and the little pieces that are kind of lost you're just going to put them on the bottom of the um, that pot and um, of course you're going to drain a little bit of that juice and it's ready to go in the oven it has to go in a very hot oven at 450 degrees fahrenheit at first for 30 minutes then we're going to start shaving the pieces of meat off of that cone of meat and we're gonna put it in the container and then after that it's gonna go back in the oven for 15 minutes and then we're gonna shave it off and it goes back in the oven until you pretty much um, reach the center of the meat and after that it's going to be completely cooked so you can just cut whatever you have left on that spear and reserve it into um, um, in a container so we can start assembling our sandwiches later and as you can see guys with every single bake uh, after you cut the meat it's gonna get a little bit more crispier so it's definitely looks more like a shawarma right now um, not that kind of dry one that uh, you get in the stores you know when that piece of meat it's been cooking there pretty much all day and it's extremely dry so that's why i attempted to make it at home then of course to assemble your sandwiches you guys need to warm up your pita bread and i have this really cute tortilla warmer so you're just gonna put your pieces of bread in there and just pop it in the microwave you see how cute this is and you're gonna have different types of toppings that you're gonna put in your sandwich so it uh, depends on what you like and of course that tomb that garlic sauce is ready to go it's gonna add in the most amazing flavor to that sandwich so um, you can use any type of vegetables that you like in your sandwiches I'm gonna show you how to assemble shawarma. On a pita bread, we're gonna spread some of that garlic sauce, we're gonna put some lettuce leaves, and then I'm gonna put some bell peppers, and I'm gonna pile um, a, a big amount of that meat. And if you guys noticed, in my marinade, I didn't use any salt because we use so many spices that meat practically doesn't need salt and then you're gonna put your tomatoes your marinated onions you can put your pickled um, uh, turnips or you could put just pickles and then you're gonna wrap it around and if it's not enough garlic salt just go ahead and pile it on top it's so delicious guys then you're gonna put it in the wrapper and you're ready to dig into it guys and you will see how delicious the shawarma is thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe and i will see you soon bye